Okay, let's talk about loop diuretics. We're going to talk about furosemide. We're talking about Lasix. Let's look at a case. We're looking at uh, Kindle. We're looking at um, the uh, Lang Pharmacology cards. A 50-year-old male with a history of congestive heart failure and hypertension presents to your office complaining of a swollen, painful big toe on his left foot. He denies any trauma to the toe. Further questioning also reveals that he has been suffering from some minor hearing loss recently. Physical examination of his left foot reveals signs consistent with a gouty attack. You also find that he shows signs of mild dehydration. Believing that all of his symptoms and physical findings may be caused by one of his antihypertensive medications, you decide to stop the medication and you treat his gouty attack with uh, colocaine and rehydration. So what is that medication? So these are loop diuretics, furosemide, and uh, let's learn a little bit about them. So first of all, similar ones are bumetanide and torsamide. So for uh, furosemide, Lasix is a sulfonamide uh, derivative that in, uh, inhibits the coupled sodium potassium 2 chloride uh, transport system in the thick ascending portion of the loop of Henle of the nephron. By inhibiting the uh, sodium calcium 2 chloride transport system there is retention of the sodium chloride, potassium and water in the uh, tubular lumen thereby leading to an increased renal loss of water and electrolytes. Clinical uses, furosemide is used to treat heart failure with associated pulmonary edema, liver failure, and renal failure. Uh, it is also used in the treatment of hypertension and uh, hypercal hyper, uh, hypersemia, hypercal hypercalcemia. So side effects, we have uh, hypokalemia. Um, because it is a loop diuretic, it is potassium wasting. Uh, met uh, metabolic alkalosis, autotoxicity, um, trouble for the ears, uh, hypovolemia, interstitial nephritis, hyperuricemia. So hyperuricemia can lead to gouty attacks, which, which is caused by the increased uh, urate uh, resorption, uric acid, uric, urate resorption, second to the increased proximal sodium reabsorption and hypermagnesemia, allergic reaction in patients with a sulfur allergy. So we have to know about all these uh, side effects for Lasix. Um, it is used for diuresis in patients with sulfur allergies um, who cannot uh, tolerate furosemide and in patients prone to gouty, excuse me, we're talking here about um, ether uh, Crinic acid is the diuretic which is used if you cannot uh, handle Lasix. So when you're thinking about Lasix, furosemide, it's a loop diuretic. Um, spirolactone would be um, a non-loop diuretic. That would be the potassium sparing. But this is potassium wasting. Um, another type of diuretic you could use is a thiazide. Um, but uh, we're now looking at furosemide and we're thinking about side effects of hypokalemia used for uh, heart failure, hypertension, and uh, hypercalcemia. Uh, so uh, I think we've covered all of that here. Uh, so let's try to remember it. Good.